Hi everybody, it's good to be with you again, Richard. I'm back with you once more. And before I go on, I just want to wish all my Malaysian friends out there Slamat Hari Raya, Idil Fitri, Maaf Zahir Dan Batin. Yes, it's going to be the long celebrations here in Malaysia. It's going to be a week long. Uh, everybody's taken off, you know, going back to their hometown, celebrating it with their loved ones, their relatives, their friends, their family. So you have a safe celebration. Have a good one, all right? And today we're going to be taking a look at a good looking fella. <laughs> Besides me, of course, <laughs> which I've had him for about a month and sitting on my desk, you know, uh, unfortunately, I never got the chance to review it. Finally, like they say, late is better than never. So here it is. It's going to be the Heimdall Mechanical Mod. This is the Heimdall Mechanical Mod. We're going to just take a quick look at it and uh, don't worry, we're going to just uh, get up close and check her out later and, uh, as we zoom in. All right, so it comes with three battery sizes, 18350, 18490 and 18650. And this is the black Heimdall, just letting you have a closer look at it. Beautiful, it's black and shiny. And uh, just in case you didn't know guys, uh, Heimdall is a fictional character in the Marvel Comics universe. And of course, based on you know the uh, god Heimdaller of Norse mythology. And uh, Heimdall is actually played by Idris Elba in uh, the uh, live action films Thor and also Thor The Dark World. Uh, two Thor movies out. I still haven't got the chance to see the second one yet. <laughs> he's actually the brother of the warrior Sif and uh, he's the uh, all-seeing and all-hearing guardians uh, sentry of Esgard who stands on the rainbow bridge called uh, what Bifrost and uh, to watch of any attacks from Esgard. And uh, he's the guy who's got this gold armor suit uh, in a helmet or mask you might want to call it uh, with kind of like horns you know on it so maybe that's why they named after it so Heimdall if you take a look at this it's very clever this is how the mask and the Heimdall actually looks like you know this little horn like thing but it's actually not horns it's uh, it looks more like wings actually on the top of his head so that's the uh, Heimdall mod all right so this is actually a 22 millimeter me mechanical mod uh, that's in black and the original uh, mechanical mod is actually by uh, a company called Vague Gems in the Philippines. The Philippines actually has produced some very, very excellent or very good mechanical mods besides strippers as well. Um, the original, just to let you know a little bit about it, is made using Australian brass and also matte black finish. And uh, it's included tubes, uh, include things like the 18350, 18450 and 18. Uh, 650 as well and it looks exactly how this clone that I have here came in I forgot to mention that mine's a clone and mine is from a company called Steam Studio here where is it made from I really have the slightest clue whether it's by HC Gar, EH Pro or you know any other um, manufacturers but I do know mine actually came from China so that's all I know and it's from Steam Studio which I think if I'm not mistaken they're retailing for about a hundred and 30 ringgit or so. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, mine's from Steam Studio for the sole purpose of this review. Getting back to the original one, uh, it's got the uh, reverse locking mechanism, silver plated uh, positive and negative pins, also floating pin and uh, telescopic pin as well. Uh, I've mentioned it, uh, it's a 22 millimeter diameter mod, excuse me. Uh, low voltage drop. The original has got very low voltage drop. We're going to find out about this voltage drop uh, in a bit from now. Um, made in the Philippines, that's the original. Okay, let's check out the uh, clone from Steam Studio, which I have first and foremost. It's made in China. <laughs> My countryman. <laughs> but honestly, a lot of you probably out there think that I'm from China. No, I'm not from China. I'm basically born and bred in Malaysia. I'm Malaysian Chinese or so-called I am Malaysian, full stop. Because if you send me back to China, they wouldn't want me. I'm what they classify as banana. Yellow on the outside, white on the inside, no speaking Chinese, no Mandarin speaking, so, 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 so. no. <laughs> Basically, I speak Bahasa Malaysia, English, and uh, a Chinese dialect, Cantonese, which uh, my mom's Cantonese. So that explains it. Just to straighten things out, for those of you who think I'm from China, no. <laughs> 
I'm a lot darker and a lot tanned as well. Chinese are very fair. Um, uh, also, that's because of all the diving that I've done. Okay, so coming back to my mechanical mod, the clone from Steam Studio. So uh, I think they're retailing for uh, about 100 over ringgit, which is about probably 30 to 40 US dollars. Okay, um, this is the classic mechanical mod. Uh, it's got a 510 connection uh, connector. Firing switch um, is uh, a bottom spring switch. Uh, switch locking ring reverse threaded ring so it's exactly like the original this is more like a one-to-one -one clone all right uh, the body is made of brass if I just let you have a look at it before we get up close uh, and zoom in yeah inside you can see it's made of brass uh, texture is shiny very shiny the switch is brass um, battery contact pin is silver plated copper so this is how it actually looks like. Very, very one-to-one -one with the original, uh, what I call Heimdall mod from the Philippines uh, by Vague Gems. But this is, as I mentioned again, um, I'm gonna say it one more time, is a clone, all right? So we're gonna get up close, zoom in on it, and check out every little part, let you have a closer look on it. Stay with us. All right, so we have up close here with our Heimdall mechanical mod, our clone version, which I've got from Steam Studio. This is made in China, and you have in three tubes your 18650 uh, battery tube, your 18490 battery tube, and also your 18350 battery tube, together with the top cap and the firing switch at the bottom here. And as you can see, it's made of brass as well. Uh, whether it be Australian brass, I'm not too sure about that, but uh, hey, it could be Australian brass. You never know what they're capable of these days, China. So there you go. It's got the logo of the Heimdall mechanical mod, uh, which is very much like the helmet from the Thor movie. Um, and uh, the serial number that I have here is 0705. If I can just zoom it in closer for you to have a look. Yep, there you go. It's 0705 with the Heimdall logo here. Very much like the Thor movie Heimdall, the character, the helmet with the two wings on top, which I thought were horns. <laughs> Far off. All right, so there you go. And uh, the threadings, the tube inside. All right, that's our two tubes, and together with the uh, 18350 battery tube here. Okay, we're gonna put this aside and take a look at the top cap and also the firing switch. Okay, we're gonna take out the top cap first. Reading's really smooth, very smooth, no doubt about that. And you have your top cap here. I'm gonna put this aside so there's no distraction. And you have your top cap here. As you can see, this is silver plated contact pin, floating pin. And uh, what's very clever about this pin, the contact pin is that uh, it moves in and out. You see, you push, it goes in. And when you have, let's say, um, a dripper or an atomizer and you want it to let's say I put an atomizer in there you screw it in and you can see the back portion slowly extending out yeah it's very clever there you go see and also this moves in and out for you to make contact with your battery so that you don't get bad, uh, battery rattle. Okay, we're gonna take this out. Like I said, this is silver plated, the contact pin, and you have a little drip well on top here in case you have any spillage or leakage. It actually collects here, the juice. And you have your airway, you have three slits. Yeah, very nice. And it's got a black Dalrin ring around it to prevent short. Yeah, you 
can back this off I can just screw it in very nice threading very nice top cap all right so that's our top cap there we're going to take a look at the uh, bottom firing switch as you can see here and we're going to remove this put the tube aside this is a spring loaded firing switch it's got grooves here on the locking ring it's easy for you to grip it and turn your locking ring yeah very clever idea okay it's got a delrin piece with um, battery venting holes on each end you've got three here and it works just to let you know I've tested it out blew into it and you get air coming out from here so in case your battery vents also silver plated contacts here yeah I'm gonna remove it and just check it out all you got to do is just push this screw this fella here oops that's the pin there let's take it out and you have your spring there it's also a uh, silver plated spring just to let you see and you've got your brass switch here nothing at the bottom just put it back your battery venting holes your Delrin piece on top just have to put it back in there push it in and I suppose if you upgrade to a uh, bat uh, mag magnet it will probably give you a better uh, voltage drop less voltage drop so there you go that's the bottom firing switch yep just put it back Like I said, the uh, threading is really smooth and buttery smooth. All right, so there you go. Your Heimdall mechanical mod, that's the one in 18350 mode. We'll come back, um, set her up with an atomizer, do a voltage drop, and uh, vape and see how she vapes. Catch you back later. All right, guys, so welcome back. And uh, you've just seen the close-up of the Heimdall mod, and I've got it here. Uh, attached to my voltage meter here in 18650 mode the Heimdall black mod here uh, we're gonna do a voltage test and see how low it drops all right so here we go the locking ring is pretty good by the way and uh, it hasn't locked out on me so far but you still got to be a bit careful on it otherwise it get locked out and you gotta really you know find a way to unlock it okay so let's take a look at the uh, Heimdall mod it measures 4.13 here so I'm just gonna get my calculator like I said I'm really bad with maths <laughs> 4.13 and also bad memory as well 4.13 and I'm gonna attach my uh, k atomizer in it which I think the uh, resistance is about uh, 1.1 ohms right so that's 4.13 and with an atomizer in it let's see how much it measures 3 4 4.02 4.02 yep 4.02 the voltage drop is just 0.11 so very much similar to the uh, original mechanical mod uh, the Heimdall the voltage drop is really really low Let's see how it fires I got it on my mod now beautiful Heimdall clone mmm very nice fires really well with a 0.1 drop very very good oh sorry about that there you go the Heimdall mod 18650 mode you can have it on 18350 I've got a K-Fun uh, light here with my uh, what we call uh, Chaplin drip tip here beautiful 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 if it's is it worth your money 
yes a big yes and a big thumbs up for sure it is so there you go one more vape before we call it a day very nice very very nice very good <laughs> until i talk to you again vape safe take care and have a great day bye for now